Nga mahi kia tātou. Um, my name is Sharon Barton. I'm a mokopuna of Waikato, Raikawa and Maniopoto. I'm the National Convener of the Runanga of E2. At the moment, um, the Runanga is wanting to focus some attention on the lack of health and safety representation amongst tangata whenua workers in E2. It's really concerning. Uh, the, the highest density in our um, union industries is in community support services and the public and commercial industries where a lot of tangata whenua workers happen to be employed. E2 is a treaty based organisation. Um, Te Runanga is, represents the voice of tangata whenua workers in E2 and we're about building the capacity of tangata whenua workers to be able to participate in the setting of their wage rates, their work conditions and their health and safety standards in the workplace, not only for themselves but for their families, for their hapu, their iwi and their communities within which they live. Well according to the 2015 um, statistics there were 271,000 tangata whenua in the workforce of a total of 2.36 million workers. Uh, the CTU says that there are 60,000 tangata whenua workers in the trade union movement. Um, that's concerning because it tells me that a small minority of tangata whenua workers aren't participating in um, their conditions or wages on their, in their working places. Peti Hainga, I work for Karahold Harvey Board Products in Tukoro. I've been a delegate for the last 30 years, 17 in Plywood, and I'm the National Women's Convener. The focus of the Women's Committee is the Domestic Violence Bill and also trying to look at the rights of women in, in within their collective on drug, drug, drug testing in the workforce and to be able to take time off when, when childcare and all that are, are a problem. There are over 40% of women in our ETI union. So we're there to represent, represent their needs and their wants too. Hi, my name is Sally Mutalo and I'm working at Shonga McFarlane as caregiver. Uh, my role is, is uh, um, I'm a PI, National Convener. Our focus at the moment is uh, to um, identify uh, more young Pacifica leaders, train and support them to uh, become a great um, leaders at their workplace. The important issue is uh, reducing poverty in our Pacifica community and the homelessness. That is why it's very important for our uh, young leaders and our current leaders to get involved with the living wage movement. It's very important for us to have our groups in the national executive. So um, when we have our meetings or our focus, uh, we have to um, um, read our reports, what we discussed and what our PI committee are required so we have to um, ask the national executive to um, to go through and see what they can do for our committee hi my name is Emily I work for community connections um, I'm on the national executive and my position is the national youth convener um, one of the focuses of the Youth Network right now is to build momentum. We have quite low uh, membership rates, we don't have a lot of active engagement and so what we're trying to do at the moment is to kind of develop our brand, make it appealing to be a part of the Youth Network and to offer some real leadership and sort of community development opportunities for our young people.
The reason why young people need to have a say in unions is because we are at the forefront of the precarious gig economy. We're the ones that are facing casualisation in terms of jobs and we're the ones that are probably going to have five careers before the end of our lives. My favourite thing about ETU is that it gives me an opportunity to stand up for vulnerable people. Um, in my role, that is predominantly what I do, is advocacy and um, supporting people. Uh, who have disabilities or who have mental health conditions into the workforce and so protecting the rights of and supporting vulnerable people to make the best choices and to be heard is something that's really important to me.